Welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the price of gold and any potential trading opportunities. So as we uh, have a look at gold in our long term chart, what we can see is that we've got a pretty consistent range over the long term and then we've had a breakdown through that range um, and that was between $2,080 to about $1,700 and we've got a breakdown through. Although what we start to see is a little bit of a base forming near that 200 week moving average, which is our long term support and our mean. Although when we have a look at the daily chart, and this is again just giving us a little bit of an idea, we've got a long term downtrend as well. Um, and this has kind of been going back to we've got potentially a little bit of a breakout, a break of this trend. But for the moment, um, you know, we're still in this pretty significant downtrend, although as I said, we've got a bit of a base kind of consolidation forming. So as we look in a little bit closer um, at this daily chart instead of that weekly, we can see that we've probably, um, we might still be quite bearish. And here's why. As we have a look, we can see that this um, short term 50 period, 50 day moving average has been a pretty consistent room of resistance once, twice, three times. So will this continue? Well, first thing we can see is that we've got this pretty strong support at 1630 or 1600, 1613 US dollars. And if we zoom out, we can see that that's a pretty significant point. And really since, um, really since 2020, um, we haven't reached this figure. So we're at a pretty low point. However, the concern for going short again is this little bar here, volume bar and this candlestick, which go in line with the weakness in the US dollar that hit the market last week. And also the employment figures that um, showed us that growth is slowing down and that the, the banks may be, uh, the Fed may be willing to slow their interest rate hikes. But this is our short term picture. So at the moment, we're still probably looking for a short opportunity. and as we can see, these last few touches of this 50 day moving average have provided a great opportunity. So what we're going to see is we're going to look for a potential entry point and a potential trade. So let's just zoom in a little bit more. We're going to go to this one hour chart. We're going to make reset this chart just to make it a little bit easier to see. So what we can see is that again, we've got a strong support level at about $16.72 and potentially a double top forming on that shorter front frame. So we've had this big exhaustion, this big spying um, volume, and then we've hit a peak. And then again, we retested this peak on less volume, which is a bit concerning, and sold off again. So what this shows is there haven't been enough buyers at this stage to take out the 1680 level. And what we'd be looking for is a potential break of the neckline at 1666. Um, and then we're looking for some targets. So if this trade follows and we get a break of that neckline, so we put our stop loss just above and we're looking for a, we're looking for a return of about three, risk return of about three, which is pretty solid. And you know, this is a generally a pretty consistent reversal pattern. However, what we again, what we've seen is that this this area here, this zone where the neckline will be, is where that most recent su support is. So guys, look on that shorter term frame and that shorter term trading opportunity, we are looking for a potential break, maybe a retest and then a move back down with, a, as I said, a three to one risk reward. So pretty good there. But keep an eye out on the uh, US midterms, which may affect the price as well. And thanks for watching and good luck trading.